Hey guys, this is Paddy from GFB again, and in this video we're going to go through the basic boost pressure setup and how to configure all the settings for your GFB GeForce 3 boost controller. So the GeForce 3 has six presets plus a scramble preset. So to access all of the presets, you can scroll through by pressing the preset button. And to access the scramble and set it up, you just scroll past number six. So we're going to go back to preset one and this is the preset we're going to be setting up. So now that we've set up all of the basic settings from video number one, uh, we're ready to start checking out the settings for boost control. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start the car and the unit will display the engine vacuum. So the units of this is in inches of mercury and this is in the normal running mode. So as we rev the car, you'll see the vacuum drop and boost increase. So the first setting we're going to set up is the duty cycle. This setting controls the peak boost pressure that your car will be running and it essentially is used to control the solenoid. So a duty cycle, to access the duty cycle setting, you press the settings button once and you'll be in the duty setting. You'll see that from factory, it will display a duty cycle of 10 and our recorded peak boost is 0.1. A 0.1 display means is effectively zero and it means that there is nothing saved. Now to set up the duty cycle and achieve your peak boost target, we, this will be a trial and error approach and obviously we want to approach this slowly so that we do not over boost in the car and cause some engine damage. So what we'll do is we'll start with a duty cycle of 10 and we'll take it for a run, record a peak boost and then we'll slowly increase to there to our target of 22 PSI. Something to note about the duty cycle setting is that it is a percentage ranging from 10% to 100%. The 10% setting means that the solenoid will be turned on for 10% of the time and off for 90% of the time. Likewise, a duty cycle setting of 90% will mean that the solenoid is on for 90% of the time and off for 10% of the time. What this means is a 10% duty cycle will be bleeding off around 10% of the air that's going towards that's normally going towards the wastegate actuator, which will therefore increase the boost pressure. If you want to see some more information on how boost control actually works, go check out one of our videos from Go Fast Brett on boost control. So we've got our duty cycle set to 10%. So what we're going to do is leave it at that and we're going to do a run and record a peak boost. So we're going to see what, what boost pressure we get at this setting and then go from there. Ideally you would be in third or fourth gear for this to really make sure that the engine is loaded up. Uh, obviously you'll be going pretty quick uh, at full throttle third or fourth gear so make sure you do this not on the street um, and make sure it's on an enclosed road. So on that run, with 10% duty cycle set, we achieved a 10.8 PSI of boost pressure. So the next run we're going to do, I'm going to choose a duty cycle of 40. Uh, I know this is not going to increase our peak boost very much on this particular car. For your car, I would recommend only increasing 10% at a time, but for the sake of speeding the things up on our end, we're gonna go straight to 40. Okay, for the next run, I'm gonna jump straight to 65% duty cycle. So we'll take this for a run and see what boost pressure we get. Okay, on that run of 65% duty cycle, we achieved a 21 PSI of boost pressure. So I'm going to increase that to 67 and that should be pretty close to our 22 PSI target. So let's go for another run. Okay, on that run of 67% duty cycle, we achieved a boost pressure of 22.3 peak and I'm happy with that. I'm going to save that duty cycle and we're gonna set up the gain setting. 
So the next setting we're gonna set up is the gain setting. To access that setting, we press the settings button twice, and it's a very similar setup and approach to the duty cycle setting. Now what gain does is it is also a percentage value, and it is a percentage of your target boost that you've recorded in your duty cycle setting in which the waste gate will begin to open. So this setting is what you can adjust to bring your boost on harder. Now if you try to have your uh, gain setting too high, your waste gate will be shut for too long and it will be very difficult for your waste gate to be able to release enough exhaust gas in time to stop your boost pressure over boosting. So the aim of this setting is to increase the percentage as high as you possibly can without inducing an overboost when you're driving. Okay, you could see on that run, we had our gain set to 55%, um, and after a few runs, we achieved good results with this value. Our peak ended up being 22.7, which is a little bit higher than our target boost pressure, but there's so many factors involved that could change this by slight amounts, and that is totally within the realm of okay. Um, some factors that you might encounter when driving around, especially if you're doing this on some streets, is the angle that you're driving up. So if the street's on a hill, whether you're going up or down a hill, also the gear that you're in, um, and also heat soak. If you've been driving around for 10 minutes, you'll find a lot different uh, results. So now that that's all set up, we save that setting and you should now be controlling boost pretty comfortably. And in the next video, we'll go through some of the trimming settings, for example, sensitivity um, and a few of the other ones 